Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is Rob, aka The Diligent Deb, and welcome to episode three of View in Five Minutes, where I try to distill view concepts in as little as five minutes. Now, in this episode, we're going to be covering view component files, so let's jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are at our View 5 Min project that we created in episode one. If you don't know how to create a view project, I would highly suggest you go back and watch that. And I will link that on the screen right now and in the description below. So when you're inside of a view file, you'll see three main sections. You have your template tag, which holds all of your HTML. You have your script tag, which essentially holds our view model, hence the name view. And you have our style tag that we can apply either globally or to this component file. So like I said before, our template holds all of our HTML. And then inside the script tag, it's essentially our view model that we're gonna be using inside of this component file. So if we look at this export defaults, it's essentially an object literal that is your view model when you're working inside of this file. So we have a name that we can name it, we have components that we can import, and you'll see we import a hello world here, we use it in the template tag, but before we can do that, we have to register it as a component. You'll see we have this data property and this acts as our model. We can keep all of our variables in here. We have methods that we can fire. So you'll see here when this increment is fired, it increments the variable of count. And then we also have these computed properties, which we can access in our template. And you'll see it returns this dot count times two. So let's go ahead and scroll to the top and use these inside of our template tags. So we can see exactly what's going on on the page. I'm gonna run a command in my terminal. So all you have to do is go to terminal, new terminal inside of VS Code and run the following, npm run serve. And this is gonna launch a development server inside of our browser. Okay, so our development server's up at host 8080. So I'm gonna put this on this side of the screen, grab a blank window from Chrome and put it on this side of the screen, close this down and we'll open localhost. 8080 and you'll see now we have our view app up and running on the screen so in order to use our count variable inside of our template tag we're going to use some declarative rendering with text interpolation now it sounds a lot more complicated than it really is but let's go ahead and get started and in order to view this i'm going to enlarge the browser a little bit so right inside this div tag we're going to create another div and then we're going to create a paragraph inside of that and then in order to do the text interpolation we're going to wrap two curly braces around our count variable. And I'm gonna hit save. And you'll see now that zero has shown up on the screen, which is the initial value of our count property. So next let's go ahead and call our increment method. And in order to do this, we will add a button. We'll give it a text of increments. And then we're gonna to bind to the click property of this button. And in order to do that in view, you'll put an at symbol and then click. And if I go back, you'll see you have all these different properties you can bind to. Choose click and choose increment. And we'll hit save and you'll see we have a button now. And when we click that button, it goes ahead and increments our count value. So next let's go ahead and use our computed property. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna put another paragraph tag. I'm gonna do some text interpolation and display that count times two. So you'll see we're reset back to zero because that was the initial value of our variable. But if I hit this increment button, you'll see that it goes ahead and multiplies that bottom number times two, which is exactly what we told it to do inside of our computed property. So the last thing we're gonna cover is the style tag. Now there's a couple of different properties you can put on a style tag. One is lang and you can specify that you wanted to use something like sass or scss. If you leave it blank, it's just gonna think that it's just plain old CSS. And there's another one called scoped. And what this does is it scopes your changes to the component itself and doesn't let those styles bleed out to other components. So what we'll do here is we'll make all the paragraph tags red. We'll go ahead and save this. And for some reason, there's a bug with view on scope tags. You have to reload the page. So we'll go ahead and reload it. And you'll see that our two paragraph tags that are contained inside of this component are red. Now, if I remove that scoped property and save it again, you'll see that now it has made this paragraph tag red which is included in the hello world. Now we're gonna cover these topics a lot more in depth in future videos. So don't panic if you feel like we went through this really, really quickly. This is called View in Five Minutes and I'm trying to get through these concepts in five minutes and just wanted to give you a little overview of a view component file. 
Now, if you got any value out of this video, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, happy coding.